Today I'll show you how to actually uh, use the NAS storage for your uh, TP-Link camera, security camera. This is technically not a NAS storage because it won't automatically store in your PC or any other server. But uh, you have to kind of uh, do it manually. And if you have any uh, desire to stream your uh, TP-Link camera footage on your computer, then you can easily achieve that. Achieve that. Uh, with the current method which I'll show you right now. So open your uh, TP-Link app and uh, go to the settings and um, now go to the advanced settings camera account account information uh, enter the password I mean while you are creating the account enter that password if you haven't created the account you if you have used the google sign in then you should create it again and verify it so now you can actually change the username if you have given the your email id as your username you can change it to your own name and a password and this you have to make sure that you remember this password and username because this is the same thing which you will use on the pc and um, that's it this is the this is the setup which you have to do and uh, you have to make sure that your uh, cct camera and your laptop or pc is connected to the same wi-fi network otherwise it won't work right both of them should be in the same network and you have to go to the another setting let me show you um, network settings yeah you have to go to the network settings turn on the static ip M make a note of this ip address what you are uh, seeing here right now so because this ip address will be used for the sh streaming so this is the uh, steps which you have to take on the mobile app so rest of the process will continue on your laptop or computer or um, any other thing which you are using so now the rest of the process will continue on your PC or a laptop or wherever you want to stream your live footage from the camera. Uh, so first you have to download the VLC player. Most of you of you will be aware of this VLC player. It's very old media player. Uh, it's just 38 MB free open source software. So you can use this for playing videos as well as stream via network. So first you have to download this in case you do not have it already. So go to the VLC player and I will give you one command. No, it's not actually command, it's actually network URL. So in the network URL, you have to put your username here. My username is Vishwanath. And the password is, I have set up the temporary password. This is not actually my TP-Link main account password. This is only for streaming password, okay? And this is temporary password. I will change it later for testing purpose to show you guys I have done this. And um, this is the network URL. You have to put this in the stream section. So let me go to the media and let me go to the stream network. And I have already put this uh, on network uh, URL and I'll just click on stream. That's it. Now it is streaming. And there is another way of streaming it. You, you can go to the network stream. Again, I put that URL here. Just play. It will continue playing. Whatever happening outside, the live footage you are seeing here. Now the time is 1 7. Here the sun time is 1 7. So, whatever happening outside, you are seeing here and it's live. What if you want to record this on your laptop? What if you want to record this permanently on your PC, laptop or wherever it is. So you can click this record and uh, it will be recorded in your, um, uh, what is that, video folder on your PC. And you can stop it. So I stopped it. So let's go to the, one minute, let's go to the location, videos location. And here's the VLC record, what I recorded just now. See, this is the recorded from the VLC player, whatever I recorded, it's here. And there is another way of recording this. So again, go to the VLC player, media, convert or save. So here you have to uh, put the, again, put the network URL, convert or save, destination fail, file. So 
if you want to store this uh, recording in some in some other uh, uh, location so you can put it as tp link or whatever the name you want to give it for the video and save it and then start now it will start saving the video but you cannot watch it live right it's not showing anything but it's actually saving it what if you want to see it live as well as save it simultaneously again you can open the another window of the vlc player go to the media uh, network stream and then play that's how it works so now it is playing as well as storing at the same time and if you are a business owner if uh, if you have um, if you have a small shop or anything and if you want to stream your uh, footage on live this help for you guys because tp link doesn't provide the actual software where you can interact with the camera right they haven't provided a definite software like that so you have to rely on vlc media and do this a uh, network streaming for me home camera there is actually a software xiaomi camera what i have they have their own software if you log into that uh, using the google account or email id you can actually view it on your pc or laptop stream it there only and download the recordings so on me it is present but for the tp link it is not present you have to uh, use it only via this uh, method so yeah th that's how you do the recording as well as streaming you cannot actually do the nas recording where it will do it automatically you just have to rely on this method so now i was recording this right to stop this one you have to click this stop button stop playback and now the recording has been stopped and if i go to the location where it was uh, recorded so here is the recording this is the location where it was uh, uh, writing the video file where is it yeah so this is the video file where it was writing and um, you can see the time and date everything that's how you record it see you guys um, so don't forget to subscribe i'll uh, make even more videos like this and uh, regarding the nas storage for the uh, xiaomi camera i actually tried to do it i don't know why i'm not able to succeed now two years back i actually achieved nas storage for the mi home security camera this is the footage two years ago which i did as you can see the tire the date is 2022 i actually did this one these are all these are all happened automatically i don't know why it is not doing uh, now i'm not able to f uh, locate the file location on my me home app i'm not able to do it i'm trying so hard to find it out but unfortunately i'm not able to do it so uh, what is that i mean it's a bad luck actually i actually tried so hard to mimic the mimic the same steps what i did here two years ago i was able to do it but now i followed the same steps now i'm not able to do it it's not discoverable it's not showing on the app i don't know what to do so this is the update regarding the me home nas security storage so yeah subscribe for the channel i will uh, find a solution for that and uh, come back to you